Well, hey crafty friends! It's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and on this video tutorial, I'm going to just show you the absolute cutest stuffed and fluffed owl owls that you can ever imagine. They are so adorable. They're so super easy, and I have one little surprise that just adds everything to the project. So stay with me for that surprise. Um, so I'm going to give you a real quick view of what we're making and then I'm going to put it away and we're going to do the whole thing from start to finish. Um, I've been fiddling around with this project for several hours and I think I have it figured out how I like it the best. So I hope you like it too. As you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions along the way. Feel free to sprinkle, 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 all that good stuff. Alrighty, uh, so this is the project. And you can and keep in mind, you can make this project any size you like. It could be some super cute smaller ornaments for your Christmas tree. You could make some smaller ones and make an adorable banner. You could use this idea and put it on a pillow like the stuffed and fluffed petal pillows that we did the other day. Um, it can just be a little wall hanging, a front door greeting. I mean, there's so many things that you could do with this idea. Okay, so here, here is Mr. or Miss Owl. Okay. Uh, we're going to be using some, um, this is cotton duck fabric. You can use cotton ticking. Uh, you can get both of those at Walmart. You could also use a uh, painter's drop cloth. So, uh, and you could use a pattern fabric if you wanted as well. Um, so we're going to be using some of this. We're going to be using these awesome markers that come from magnoliadiy.com. Half of them are for ch are chalk paste and the other half are ink. So you can use them on fabric and ceramics and then you can heat set them and they'll be washable. So we're gonna be using these. And then we're gonna be using some fun different colors of Magnolia ink, all right? So I'm excited, oh, and then buttons, a little stuffing, some low temperature hot glue, and then the surprise, which I'll tell you at the end. And oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Okay, so where did I get this idea? Well, um, if you've been watching DIY Dreaming for any amount of time, you know that some nights I just can't sleep. Whatever, I have the midlife no sleep thing. And um, so eventually, after I can't sleep for a while and I've thought about my next day, prayed, done all that business, I'll just go to Pinterest and wander around. And for like the last month, I've been seeing owls, these funny character, uh, cartoonish sort of owls in all different signs and t-shirts and tea towels. Oh my gosh, we could do tea towels. That would be so cute. Anyways, I've been seeing them and I've been warming up to the idea of doing an owl, doing owls. So, um, so that's where the idea came from. And I know somebody's going to ask me if I have a pattern and no, I do not. When I got up this morning, I just started sketching on some computer paper and I'm not I'm not an artist at all these were kind of my first thoughts and then I started fiddling around with some smaller versions of them that I painted before I did them with white um, chalk paint from Walmart okay I painted them then I used the pins on them and this is where I was fiddling around with all the designs. Oh my gosh, there's so many different squiggles and doodles and dot, dot, dots and flowers and all kinds of fun things that you can do to jazz them up. So this was just kind of my practice, my figuring out what I liked. And if you made these about half this size and did a back and stuffed them, they would be adorable on a Christmas tree. So this, this is sort of my research. All right. And I'm going to show you. Um, let me get my ruler. You might have noticed that I've rearranged a little bit here in my craft room. 
uh, I'm just always, I needed more space for this project today, so I just turned my craft desk the other way around, and I think this is okay. I hope you can see and hear everything. By the way, if you're watching on Facebook and these comments right here are driving you crazy, <laughs> you should be able to swipe them left or right or up and down, depending on the device that you're on, and they should go away. And then if you want them back, just swipe the other way, or you may have to use the mouse if you're on a computer. Okay, so this is the pattern, essentially, that I'm using. And I just made it with a piece of computer paper that I folded in half, and then I kind of traced this rough shape of an owl's body. I don't know if I got it right. It's okay. All right, so from his head to the bottom of his bottom, her, I keep saying he, I'm thinking this is a she owl, is about eight and three quarters inches. From the top of the uh, ears is about 10 and a half inches long. And then at the widest, the tummy's about seven inches and the head's about six and a fourth. Seriously, you can do this. Or you can just Google free printable owl cartoon coloring sheets or something like that. And you can use that as your pattern. This was the other one that I made for a little shorter, squattier one. All right, okay. So like I said, we're just using some of this fabric. And I am going, why would you cut out your shape twice if you could cut it out once and get two pieces? That's what I want to know. You shouldn't do that. So I'm going to pin my little pattern on this fabric and then we'll cut it out. And it's two pieces thick, so I'm cutting out the front and the back at the same time. And this is why I like to do things on computer paper. You know, you could use any kind of paper you want, but it's easy enough to use pins to put it on your fabric so it doesn't scooch around and, I don't know. I don't have quite that many pins, but let's just do it. What the heck? So, this is a whimsical, fun, silly project. Um, and I do have some interesting owl facts to tell you. But before I do that, I wanted to ask, did any of you guys see Christ in Crafting yesterday? I showed you how to make these cool table risers that have this verse from Philippians 1.6 that says, Be confident in this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus, Philippians 1, 6. So I made that yesterday. We made this table riser yesterday as well. And then just for fun, we used a slice of wood to create a table riser and I used the Mandela lace stencil on it. And all of those stencil designs are from magnoliadiy.com if you want to go look. Okay, so here's our little guy. And I'm going to just cut them out, and then while we're painting, I'll tell you my interesting owl facts. I think it's kind of fun to hear, at least I do, you know, some things about whatever your project is that you're doing that you might not have known. So I think I'm going to start doing that more often, just including random There's honestly no magic size or shape. The only thing is you want the owl's body, and you could do feet on them if you wanted, but that gets kind of complicated. Um, you want the owl's tummy to be kind of round and be wider than the part of his face. That's really all there is to it. When um, when I was a little girl, 
uh, growing up in this little town in Idaho, my mother loved owls and she had this big collection. And I can remember, and I actually have some of her owls, just a couple of them. She didn't know I would want them when she was like moving and she got rid of most of them. But uh, anyway, so every year for her birthday and for Christmas and that kind of thing, our dad would take us to Hallmark and we would pick out some little silly owl something or other for my mom. And she was so gracious about it. She was probably about sick of the owls by the time she stopped her collection of, I don't even know how many she had, but we just kept on buying them. Because we thought, she loves owls. So, anyways. Okay. So here is the front of Miss Owl, and here is the back, and we'll just set the back aside for a few minutes, and I need to get something to work on. We're going to be working on a cake board. Let's put it this way so you can see a little better. Okay, and we're going to be working off of a paper plate, and the first thing I'm going to do have any empty paper plates? Well, we'll use this one. It's, it's the least terrible of all of them. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the little white eyeball because that will need a little bit of time to dry. So, and there's no magic size that the eyeballs have to be. Whatever you want. So I'm just cutting two at the same time. And they don't have to be perfectly round either. And they honestly don't even have to be the same size. When I um, show you close up the eyeballs on this one that I've already made, and when we do these, we'll be using different buttons in the center. Oh, those are too big. Way too big. Let me make them just a little bit smaller. Now I'm just going to quickly put some white paint on these and I'm going to set them aside so they can dry. And I'm just using this inexpensive Waverly chalk paint. This color is white. It's acrylic paint um, from Walmart. And just a cray brush. You know what? I'm going to use one of my other brushes as an eyeball holder. So you gotta stay with me to the end to see this little extra something that just gives this owl so much personality. Oh my gosh. And you might have noticed it when I was showing it to you, but if you didn't, don't peek her aside. Don't peek because I want you to be surprised. It's so cute. Okay, so we're just going to set our eyeballs right here and we'll come back to those. I may end up drying them. All right. Okay, so for the first owl, I used this green from Magnolia Design Company. The website's magnoliadiy.com. And it's called Magnolia Green. And I used this um, fuchsia rose, which is like this bubblegum color. And I kind of did opposite sides. It was really cute. So for the next one, we're going to do the same thing. But we're going to use turquoise. And we're going to use, what is this called? Amethyst orchid. So it's a teal and a kind of lavender color. And um, these are ink. They're not chalk paste. Ink is for fabric and ceramics, and it needs to be heat set if it's something that you're going to want to wash. We're going to use my heat gun to kind of do that and also to speed the process along. Okay, so I don't know where anything is since I've rearranged in here a little bit. Okay, so we need some of our 
amethyst orchid or whatever the name of this color is. We'll do that first. And I'm just gonna use my little uh, water spritzer from also from Magnolia. Normally I'd be working off of a glass plate, but I didn't get that organized this morning. morning. All right, and I'm going to just mix some of my ink into the water. This kind of turns it almost into a fabric watercolor stuff. And you could do this and heat set it with a heat press or a hot iron if it was something that you wanted to create that you knew you were gonna wanna wash and it would be washable. Okay, let me tell you my, some of my little, um, little facts here about owls. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the feathers. And basically from this little bump down to not quite the center is gonna be a wing. And that is super easy to create. You're just going to do this. This is just a cruddy brush. You don't need anything fancy. Oh, and I did want to mention that I am using distilled water though, because if I get some of the water into my little ink pots, um, if I use tap water, there's all kinds of weird stuff in tap water, and I don't want to grow an experiment <laughs> inside of my ink. These little pots last forever, um, so don't contaminate them with regular tap water. And I thought about getting my thing of distilled water out because I've had questions from you guys about where to get distilled water. You can get it at any grocery store. I bought mine, um, I was out. I bought a big, big, big jug of it at Target. It was with all the waters and it was like 99 cents. So super affordable and every place you go is gonna have it. And you keep it out. All right, so we've got one wing all set and now we're gonna do the eye on the opposite side. Okay, so a few owl, owl facts. Did you guys know that there are over 200 different varieties of owls? I did not know that. In fact, I saw one place said 200 and one place said 220. Um, that's a lot of different kinds of owls. I wasn't really even aware necessarily that there were different kinds. And um, they are classified in two different categories. I feel like I'm doing a book report in fourth grade, uh, which is kind of fun. I would love to go back to fourth grade. Um, okay, so there's two different families of birds, of, of owls. One type has a heart-shaped face. Have you guys ever noticed that? And those owls, are called are referred to as barn owls so they're pretty distinctive because their head or their face is a heart shape um, the true owls are called true owls have a round face so that's kind of cool to know all right let me make this eyeball just a little bit bigger and it's not perfectly round you know I'm not sweating it. This project would be so much fun to do with your children, um, with grandchildren, um, and it would be super cute to decorate your child's bedroom and you can do any color that you like. Okay, let me look at my other one. I think that needs to be just a teeny bit bigger. color is super cute. Okay, so he, she, I keep saying he, 
She has one eye and one set of wings. Now let's do the other ones. Um, all right, here's another interesting fact. What color am I doing? Owls, did you know this? You, you, maybe you did, I don't know, I did not. Owls can only see straight. They have these weird eyes that are like long tubes that see really well long ways away, um, but they can't move their eyes. And that's why they're constantly moving their heads, if you've noticed that, because to look over here, they have to turn their head that way. Cool, huh? Um, and they can turn their heads 135 degrees each way, which is pretty amazing, because we can't hardly even go 90. And you know, a full circle is 360 degrees. So they can go 270 degrees around with their head. And they do that so that they can see because they can't turn their eyes. They look straight forward. Let's see. Okay, let's do a wing and then we'll continue on with the owl facts. As you guys are hopping on, I would love for you to say hi and tell me where you're watching from. Um, yeah, okay, so one of the viewers on Facebook, Patricia Nighthill, no, Hemp Hill, I can't see that far away, is saying that she thinks this would be really fun to do with her grandson. I completely agree. And, you know, here, these are just my thoughts. So take it for what you want. There are no colors that God made just for girls or just for boys. He didn't do that. He made all the colors for all of us. Okay, that being said, if you wanted to do this project with your grandson, you know, let him choose the colors. If he wants to do turquoise and purple, and maybe purple's kind of thought of as a girl color, let him do it. I, I think that's, don't limit your grandson or your son or your little boys to what colors they can use for their crafting projects. Um, but if they want to use boy colors, they could certainly use red and blue and I don't know, green, whatever colors, orange, they consider boy colors. So that's my two cents. These inks from Magnolia, which I don't have links, but I'll get you some when I'm all finished. That's another detail that I didn't get to. Um, these inks are great to use with stencils and there's so many things that you can make and you can do it on ceramics and on uh, fabric like pillows, tea towels, t-shirts, tote bags, table runners, uh, all kinds of um, banners. Okay, this uh, teal one, I think I need to make it just a smidge bigger still. So it's kind of even to the other side. Although who says it has to be exactly uh, symmetrical. Okay, we're gonna say that's good. Now let's do the other eyeball. And I'm just adding, this is Magnolia ink if you're just hopping on. You might wanna go back to the beginning and watch this from the beginning if you're just jumping on now so that you know all the details because I gave all the size specifications and told you where everything has come from for the most part, except for the surprise which you have to stay with me to the end, and I'll show you that, and it's really cute. Okay, and you don't have to be artistic 
to do this owl. I promise. In case you're thinking, oh boy, she's good. She's making those eyeballs really good. Um, I promise you I'm not. Uh, but you don't have to be an excellent crafter or be able to draw or anything to do this project. Okay, I think that's close enough. Yeah. Okay, so here's, here's Miss Owl right now. Let me get my heat gun out and think for just a second about what we're doing next and I'll tell you some more facts. Um, oh, okay, more facts about owl's eyes. But first let me keep this just a second. I want to get it started drying. You could use a blow dryer or you could just be patient and let this dry. It really doesn't take very long, but you don't want to sit there and watch it dry. Feel free to ask questions. Um, feel free to sprinkle if you would like to. Stay with me for the really super cute surprise of what just takes this project Oh my gosh. Okay, and let me just say one thing. This idea, this concept of this owl, is not something I necessarily came up with. It's a conglomeration of a hundred different owl images that I saw in all different forms on Pinterest in the middle of the night during the last month. So this is my version. Petals are starting to get dry. And that's starting to get dry. All right. Let's see. Geez, a little bit longer. And I'm just thinking about what I need to tell you next. Um, okay, so about owls and their eyesight. This is interesting. So they can only look straight ahead. That's why they turn their head. And that's why they have such a great range of motion in their head. And their color of their eyes. Have you guys ever noticed that? That some owls have just really dark eyes. Some owls have eyes that are kind of yellow. And some owls have eyes that are kind of orange. This owl has one turquoise eye and one purple eye. Okay, so the eye color that the owls have in real life, not this one, indicate um, when they prefer to hunt. And so orange pe owls, people, owls with orange eyes prefer to, to catch their prey during twilight. Black eyed owls are nocturnal that means that they prefer to catch their prey in the dark and yellow-eyed owls are a fancy science word diurnal never had heard that before but that means that they do both twilight or daytime and um, in the dark um, yeah okay and here's another interesting fact um, Barn owls, the owls that have the heart-shaped face, they eat, and they don't just live in barns, that's just what they're called. They eat around a thousand mice every year. Can you believe that? That seems crazy to me. A thousand mice, that's like over three every day, or around three, roughly, every day. Just 
give this another quick little shot before we move on to the next step. The barn owls with the heart-shaped face can eat around a thousand mice every year. And here's an interesting fact, they don't have any teeth. Owls do not have teeth. And so they swallow their prey whole. So those little mice, they swallow them whole. And then this is kind of gross. But you, if you're doing this project with your kids or grandkids, you know, um, I'll take a picture of my notes, they're messy, but and I'll put it in the comments in case you wanna share some of these facts with someone if you're doing this project. So they, they swallow their prey whole, they don't have any teeth, and then they barf up whatever indigestible bits there are. So they don't chew anything up, they eat the mice whole, and then they barf up, you know, the bones and all that business. Um, so those are the owl facts. Oh, one other interesting fact. A group of owls is called a parliament. Isn't that weird? I don't know why. Um, so if you're sitting here thinking, this is weird. Heidi usually does faith projects, family projects, and then flowers. Um, you can add another F to that, and that is fun. And these are gonna, this is gonna be super fun. Okay, so I think, we're 90% there. We can move on to the next step, which I have to think about it for a minute. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that sort of mask that goes around the eyes of our owl. And I am using the black ink marker from this set. Oh my gosh, and that set is awesome. I totally recommend it. It's, this is the white ink. We used this when we made these, and we made the, um, the yellow ones. Which, do I have it here somewhere? I'm not sure where it is. I also used it, these ink and chalk pen set, to make this, to do the little squiggly doos on the flowers, and little dot, dot, dots. And I did it on this one too. So, I the set of these um, the set of these markers is like thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and you get eight different ones. Wow, that's a good deal. So you get four of the chalk paste ones, and you get four of the ink. You get a white, a black, a silver, and a gold, and they're perfect. Okay, so let's do the mask now. And I'm just gonna prime my little marker. I could flip the tip around and there's a chisel one, or this is the rounded one. And um, to me, the little mask around my lady owl here does remind me of a pair of ski goggles or snorkeling goggles, or whatever you call those. And I'm just freehanding this. It does not have to be perfectly symmetrical. So this is what I've got so far. We're gonna come back and clean our lines up just a little bit. like I need to give these two little things away so I'm having so much fun giving stuff away more often um, so I think I will uh, let me think okay to get your name in my hat and I'll give these away tomorrow morning um, I know order a set of these 
from Magnolia DIY from my website. I'll get a link. They're $13.99. And then the person whose name I call will, two people, because we're doing two of these, will receive these little owls and it will give them almost a pattern to recreate if they want. Okay, let me get this thing off my finger before I get it on my project. Yeah, so um, anyone today, what is today? Um, somebody tell me in the comments what today actually is. It's the 12th, I believe, of July 2021. It's Monday. Anyone today who orders from my website, which I'll get you links, a set of these ink and chalk uh, paste pins, just today, I'll put your name in my hat, and tomorrow morning, I'll pull two names, I'll tell you who they are, and I'll mail out um, these two sweet little owls to those people. These pins, by the way, have been on, uh, they've been out of stock for a while. Okay, good enough. This is what our little owl's mask looks like. Okay, what's missing here? Well, the first thing I notice is this owl doesn't have a nose. So we need to make a nose. And I'm just gonna start, it's gonna be a triangle, a downward pointed triangle. And I'm just gonna start in the middle of my mask with a line. And then I'm gonna carry the two ends of that down to a point. And if you're doing this project, I want to mention this, be sure that you have something underneath it. Because depending on how thick the thing that you're working on, these pins could go through. Okay, so now we're just going to color that in black. When your pins start to seem like they're a little dry, you can prime them by just pushing them down on a piece of paper, a paper plate, something like that, a piece of cardboard. And that gets the ink flowing again. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cute. Okay, now we want to do something kind of fun on the wings. And I showed you these samples where I was just fiddling around. You could do dot, dot, dots. You could do squiggly lines. On this side, I did checks. On the other side, I did two lines of squiggle, two lines of dots. They don't have to be the same on your owl, like on this one. Uh, this owl has two different wings. But the thing is, this owl, both the wings are the same color. So I don't know if I would switch that up when you have um, an owl that has two different colored wings. So I'm going to do this owl's wings just like the one that I have hiding over here that has the secret, the special secret thing that I'm going to show you at the very end that you're just going to say, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to just do a squiggly line with black, it could be with white. I'll hold this up so you can see. I think really that any person under the age of 15 would love making this project. And then anyone my age and older would probably love it too. And everybody in between. It's, this is fun. Sometimes you just got to do something that's silly, you know, or whimsical. You don't have to have everything in your life be so serious. So 
So in addition to faith and family, I do like to do fun projects as well. Okay, I'm speeding things up because we've still got some more steps and then we're gonna stuff it and fluff it and hot glue it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some little like daisies on the wings. And it's just a circle with free-handed petals. Let's do another one right here. They could be different sizes. So this little owl has three little flowers. Give me some, I see some hearts rising. If you think this project is cute so far, let's slam some hearts or tell me that you love it or something. I see Karen says it's super cute. Thank you. Let me know if you're liking this. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here, but not in necessarily the same spots. These markers are so easy to work with. You could color in the center of the flowers if you want, but I'm gonna leave it plain. And then I'm gonna do a scrapbooking trick, uh, which is doing a dot, 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 and then random just individual dots. So there's my three little dot, dot, dots on that side. And then I'm just gonna do some random individual dots. I do want to kind of be careful not to put my finger in any of that wet ink. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, now we need to choose our eyeballs. So we're going to use these two little white things. <laughs> They're funny. And I didn't have a perfectly, I didn't have the perfect lavender color button. So I think I'm just gonna use two different teals, teal colored buttons. But you could use whatever you wanted. Okay, and I'm gonna go gun. need a dryer sheet so I can clean the dripping hot glue. This is a low temperature hot glue gun, so I'm not going to get burned. And you can put your eyeball right in the center of the little eyeball or off to the side. It honestly doesn't matter. I do think it looks cute to use two different buttons and they could be different sizes. And you could put them, you know, both towards the center so it looks like the little owl is looking at her nose or his nose, or, um, you know, there's fun, different fun things you could do with the eyeballs. Okay, let me look at my little person real quick. And we need to put our string on that's going to hold it together and then I'm going to show you the surprise. Have I held you off long enough on that? I think so. 
on the first one I did, I glued it on the outside, uh, the back of the outside, but you know, you kind of learn as you're going along. That I, I learned that I would rather have it inside. So that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue on the point of our owl's ears. And stick our string, and this can be however long you want it to be, in that. Okay. All right, I am going to still need my glue gun, and I'm going to put a little dab of glue on the end of the glue stick because it wants to keep falling out. Okay. All right, so for the and stay with me to the very end, because after we do this next thing, we are going to stuff it, and it's so cute. Um, okay, so, and we're also going to draw on this a little bit more. But the thing I think that makes this the absolute cutest is using a little bit of tool. You can use it in black or white, or really any color you want, and create some eyelashes. So, I'm just going to cut off a chunk, and then I'm going to sort of gather up one end of it. So it looks like that, sort of. Just move it all smooshed together. Okay, and then I'm going to glue it on the back of one of my eyeballs. We'll trim it. Um, you know, this would look silly for this owl to have this long of eyelashes. My hands clean. So cute. All right, let's do the other one. And this tool stuff, you can get it everywhere. They have it at every craft store. They have, I haven't seen it at Target. They have it at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, everywhere. And it's not expensive at all in case you've never used it. It's the stuff that they make little ballerina tutus and things out of. This is why you want to be using a low temperature hot glue gun because you're actually putting your finger in it. Okay, so I'm going to clean up the back just a little bit so we don't have this hanging out at the eye. And I want a uh, I'm just gonna kind of do a little jaggedy sort of cut, getting shorter towards the center. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. And we'll glue this eyeball on. It might have been cuter if I had had a lavender button for the other eyeball, but I didn't, so that's okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the couple hours that I spent fiddling around with this idea this morning were worth it, I think. This is so cute. We're not quite finished, but look, look, look. 
Isn't she cute already? <laughs> okay, and then at, right below her eyes, I'm just going to do some little black stripes that are going to kind of look like your lower eyelashes. This is the back that we cut out at the same time as we did the front, so we know they're mostly going to fit. And when I was doing the first one, I learned something. I left just the bottom open and it was hard to get the stuffing up into the ears. So on this one, I'm going to leave one of the sides open. We're going to start with these ears and we're just going to put this glue not exactly at the corner of the ears, but pretty close. And we'll smoosh our two pieces together like a sandwich. Let's do the top of her head. so curious what you guys think. Oh, and by the way, thank you for all the stars. Wow. That's so kind of you. If you end up doing this project, gosh, I would really love to see pictures. Whether you do it or you do it with, um, you know, the younger people in your life that you love, I would really love to see pictures. So you could share those here in the comments on this post. Or if you want to hop over to the group that I set up for all of us to share our crafting pictures and ideas, um, you can share them there. You just have to join that, that group, which is easy. Just ask, ask to join and answer the questions. And don't, um, please don't share any other crafters videos there because then I get questions. How did you do this or that? And I'm not even the one who did it. Plus, it's my group. So it's kind of not not super nice to share other people's crafts in my group. Um, so that's one thing, um, be nice. Um, don't use it as a platform to sell anything. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Okay. Um, and it's a great group, especially if you're like me. So I live in a house with all men. <laughs> I have two sons and a husband. And my son is married, so he doesn't even live here anymore. My oldest one is. But um, they could care less, you know, in a nice way, about my crafts. So I could get super excited about this adorable little owl and go out and say, oh my gosh, can you believe how cute this is? And they're gonna look at me like I've lost my mind because they just don't get it. But in that craft group, we do. So. If you have that desire, you know, to show people what you're doing and have them care, then joining, oh, and the group is Dreamy DIY. So if you're on Facebook, that's the only way you can get to it. Just type in the search bar Dreamy, D-R-E-A-M-Y, and then leave a space and then put DIY, and it'll pull up the group and ask to join. Answer the questions and ask to join. Anyways, so um, it's people share ideas there all the time that are just amazing. And it's fun to affirm other crafters and to be affirmed by other crafters. Okay, so I'm just about done gluing my little owl. But we left a hole on the side of her to stuff. And let's see, I don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna unplug it so I don't trip and fall down. Alright, I am using this stuff from Walmart. 
It's your basic original poly fill, premium polyester, 16 ounces, Fairfield brand. It was like $5. And you can do a ton of projects with this amount of fluff. So I'm gonna do some little pieces in first so I can use my fingers to poke them up into the ears. You can also use a pencil if you're not getting it stuck in the ears the way you want. And now we're just gonna put a whole bunch of fluff in here. And how you can fill your little owl as full as you like. It's just completely personal preference. This is so cute. I think giving her a good bit of fill is sweet. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So what did you guys think about the eyelashes made out of tool? I'd love to hear. Tell me what you think about this project so far. Tell me if you think that you're going to do this. And if you're going to do it with a young person, somebody in your life, a child, a grandchild, something like that, tell me that too. I want to know. And then be sure to get pictures. That's, that's enough. So here's what she's looking like. I think this is too long, so I'm probably going to cut it and tie a knot. Um, now, to glue her shut, I'm just going to push the, the fill out of the way. Oh, I need another glue stick. It's not going to stay yet. Um, I'm going to push the fluff in so I can just do a little band right around this size and then we'll just literally just squeeze it together like a little sandwich and push the two sides together. Cute. Okay, let's do a little knot because I do think this is way too long. What do you guys think? Is she cute or what? And here's the other one that I showed you at the start that was my little introduction to what our project was going to be today. And I want to know, tell me in the comments, which one of these you like better. Do you like the pink and green one? Or do you like the purple and turquoise one? Now do notice that this one, I gave her two different colors of eyes because I could find them. I had the right colors. This one has the same colored eyes, but they're different buttons. They both have the black eyelashes. They both have the little flower petals with the dot, dot, dots. This one is the one that I glued the thing on the back first. So I do like the idea of putting it inside better. And also this one, I left the opening on the side so it was easier to get the fluff up into the ears. And it was more difficult with this one from the bottom to get the fluff up there. But what do you guys think? So if you would like, um, to know where you can get some of these amazing ink and chalk pen, chalk paste pens, 
for $13.99. It's a great deal. Or any of these amazing um, ink colors that I used. Just say link in the comments and I'll get you the links to both of those. And I apologize that I didn't have those handy at the start of this live. Um, I am going to give these away. It's kind of what I decided. So to get your name in my hat for these, just today, Monday, I think it's the 12th. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> the 12th of July, 2021. Just go to my website, which I'll get you the link in just a minute, and order a set of the pins and anything else that you want, or just that. And that will get your name in my hat. And tomorrow morning, I'll pull two names randomly, and I'll pop these little owls in the mail to them, to you, to whoever those two people are. So let's see what are you guys saying link 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 yes i will definitely get you a link just give me two seconds um you're gonna love these markers um and the chalk paste ones you can do the exact same idea on signs anything that you would use chalk paste with you can use the chalk paste pens and then the the markers, the ink markers have the black body. The chalk paste markers have a white body. And that's how you tell the difference. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I hope you liked this whimsical, not serious at all kind of a project. Just fun to mix things up. I don't want you guys to ever get bored of me. So, that's why I'm always trying to do something a little different every day. Um, I will take a picture of my messy handwriting <laughs> of these owl facts. Or maybe I'll take two. I don't know if I'll get a chance to type it. Because I would rather sit down and read all your comments and answer questions. But I'll get a picture of this and put it in the comments. If you want to share these owl facts with um, somebody that you might be doing this craft with, um, if, especially if it's a little one and you want to tell them that fun fact about how owls eat their prey whole because they have no teeth, and what they do after that with the indigestible parts of what they've eaten. That's a fun fact that then people probably would like to hear. Alrighty, thank you for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. You can look for photos for this here in these comments, as well as just at DIY Dreaming. Feel free to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, if you have friends who like crafts, uh, DIY projects, that like owls or that are looking for fun easy projects that they could do with the younger people in their lives um whatever feel free to sprinkle Alrighty, have a great rest of your day i'll see you guys later The, okay, Jacqueline is asking, what is the group name? It's Dreamy DIY. So Dreamy, like I'm, I'm Dreamy. D-R-E-A-M-Y space D-I-Y. And if you just type that in the search bar, then um, I'll get that for you. Okay, and somebody's asking, do I have an owl pattern? No, I do not. All I have is just what I just randomly sketched. And at the very start, I can take a picture of this, absolutely, both of these, and put them in the comments. Um, but I don't have a pattern. At the start of this video, I gave you all the dimensions for this one. And this is the basically what I used to make these. They look wider when you do the paper than they do when you stuff them. You guys see that? Okay. So let me see if there's any more comments, and then I really will say goodbye.
Thank you, Billy. Yes, that's it. Dreamy DIY. What was the extra cute thing? Oh, Terry, you didn't notice? It's the eyelashes. Look at the eyelashes that we made. <laughs> Using tool, black tool. You could do white as well. Now that I've told you what the extra cute thing was, do you see it? Is it extra cute? I think it is. Thank you to everyone who sent stars. You guys were extra generous with me today. I so appreciate that. So I will be giving these away tomorrow morning to two people that I randomly pull their names out of a hat that placed an order with me for a set of the pin, the ink and chalk paste pens that we used. And I'll get links. So just write link in the comments if you would like that link. And it needs to be today so I can pull those names first thing tomorrow morning. And I'll have to get lots of pictures because these are so cute. I might want to do this again. You know, we could do this kind of this idea again with fall colors. We could also do this again in a smaller scale for Christmas ornaments. What do you think about that? Thank you for sprinkling. Okie dokie, I'm gonna really say goodbye. You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.